So welcome to this character modeling series in Maya. In this series we're going to model and animate a simple humanoid character that looks something like this. So where's my Unity? This is one I did earlier, a very rough copy of what, I'm, what I want to do in this series. Um, as you can see we have a very low resolution um, character here, perfect for video games. Um, we've textured it so we can see what it looks like and we've also animated it. So if I play the game in Unity I'm going to show you the walking animation. It might be a bit jittery on my screen recording software, but um, it's very smooth. And as you can see, the character realistically walks. But in order for this to happen, in order for the geometry to deform, we need to have certain um, curves in the body to make sure it doesn't deform in a very bad way, but not very hard to do, as long as we know what we're doing. Okay, so we can quit Unity now. In this video I'm going to just set up my Maya scene, do a few basic objects and continue from there. So the first thing to talk about is reference images. I'm just going to check my smooth shade. Oh yeah, that's cool. The first thing we need to focus on is reference images. If you can't create your own, then download the ones I have. Um, they're available on unitychatchannel.com. They might look familiar if you've looked into um, modeling a, a character before. There's a very good article online, but the problem is with um, the articles they don't go into detail on how to do certain things like join the connections and do the head and everything like this so um, a female character is better to model than a male because of all the curves a bit more challenging if you can do that the female the chances are you can do the male um, the male is very is uh, easier to do than the female okay so when creating your um, reference images, make sure everything lines up, the head lines up, the chest, the, the midsection, the knees, etc, etc. And then we can cut out these three images. In this series, I'll just be using the front and the side. There's no need to, to do the back on a very low resolution model uh, in this case. So I'll leave this out. Okay, guys, um, this is available to download for free. I'll put the link in the description. This is the thing I have um, sketched with my pen tablet, so no copyright intended or anything. Okay, so once we have this, we can cut them out into three separate images. Do this in Photoshop with a grey background so we can see them in Maya. Like so. And now we can import them. So the first thing is to import the front view. Go to View, Image Plane, Import Image and choose the front. So in order to do this, I'm going to bring it up make sure the feet are kind of aligning to the origin which is down here <laughs> okay and bring it back because we don't want to get in the way of our scene no matter how far you pull it back you'll still have the same perspective in this orthographic view so don't worry about that I'm going to leave it in the center for now and go to the side do the same thing view image plane import image get the side view so if I open up the perspective view, I'm just going to use this opportunity to line up the images in the correct way. Okay, so it needs to go up a bit and about there looks fine. Okay, so so now we can go ahead and bring them back so they don't get in the way. So to start with, with our model, we're going to create a cylinder. I'm going to draw in the perspective view and go to the inputs, change the subdivision axis to 8 and also the subdivisions heights to 8 as well. Gives us a bit of um, detail to model with. And we don't need these faces at the top, so we can delete these. We're going to connect this leg onto the body and we're going to extrude downwards to make the foot later on. So we don't need these faces. Okay, so in the front view go to an object mode. Just going to move this into place, make it the height of the leg. Um, generally we don't cover the foot, we just bring it to the height up to this line. So it needs to go up a bit more. And a tad more. Okay, bring it inwards a tad. Like so. Okay, this is about the right height we need for this. Right, okay, so Let's just grab the vertices on each layer and move them inwards, like so, in, and scale these uniformly. Okay, so so they match the ref the uh, referencing. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm bringing these inwards, scaling these inwards, moving these across. Okay. Scaling these inwards. And these ones as well. Okay, so simple as that, we now have a very simple shape for our leg, and it looks quite nice already. So, with that out of the way, I'm going to go to the side and do the same thing, but instead of scaling uniformly, I'm just going to scale in them. Um, this axis here which is the Z. Okay, so firstly move it into place and uh, get it about in the center, make things a bit easier and again go to a vertex and do the same thing but only scale the Z axis this time and match the uh, the length to the reference image again. So simple stuff, very simple to do but effective. Scaling outwards scaling inwards okay all right so putting this inwards this is good to get out of the way on the first video I think we'll have a basic shape and then we can go on to the good stuff. So um just finishing off the leg. Okay, so this is the leg. So let's go into a okay, I'm gonna just put this to the edge here. Move it outwards a tiny bit. So now we've we can play this curve later on. Okay, if we go to perspective now we have a good shape for the leg. Okay. And what we could do, we can go to a edge mode, select all the edges, probably easier in a um, front view, and go to normal soften edge. Okay, a bit nicer to look at. So cool, this is the leg we're going to work with later on. All right, so the second thing is the arm. I think we'll do the arm next. So similar thing here, we're gonna create another cylinder with the same attributes, so eight. Subdivision actually is 8 subdivisions height. Let's open the front view here. Bring it upwards to the arm this time. So this time we're going to make this a bit thinner and rotate it very slightly to match the orientation of the arm. So it doesn't really matter if um, the character is in a T-pose or whether the arm is facing downwards. We can deal with this later on. Going to make this a bit thinner. I want this to go right up to the shoulder as well. So up to the shoulder, don't need to cover the hands as we will deal with the hands later on as well. Okay, cool. So once we've done this, we can again go to a vertex, zoom in a bit, and do the same thing. So, firstly, scaling in uniformly, changing all the axes inwards. If your axes aren't um, relative to the orientation of the shape, simply hold shift control right click and go from a world mode to an object mode okay then your axis will be in the same um, shape the same relative shape as the the object itself so very simple thing to do again just going inwards okay so Okay, this is looking good. Because this is this is the um, the shoulder area, we can make this a bit thicker. Bring this up a bit. Okay, that's good. Um, we can also rotate this and flatten it out a bit if we wanted to. Okay, guys. So this is the arm in the uh, front. Let's go to a side. Looks very different from the side view. Bring it inwards so it's in place and uh, basically do the same thing so let's just bring it this way a bit, go to a vertex 
and this time we're going to use the z-axis again to scale this down match the reference image moving this across okay the reason we can see the whole circle this time is because we rotated the arm so don't worry about that okay bring this inwards this is where the arm gets a bit thicker okay two more to go make sure not to move these around just in the z-axis so we don't mess up what we did before in the front view and just scaling inwards a bit more okay so this will do for now okay nice uh, shape for the arm okay that do so right let's look in the perspective now just double check uh, go into a uh, object mode if we can okay so this is the arm so already we're beginning to get a result on our character same thing like we did before we can get the edges if we wanted to soften them out like so okay so the last thing I want to do in this video is one more cylinder but this time for the body okay so a bit different with this one we're going to cut the cylinder in half because the way we do this is model half the character then mirror the geometry over because a human or any humanoid object or any animal for that matter is a uh, is symmetrical okay so get the cylinder tool out again bring these up and um, with the arm just very quickly I'm going to delete these faces because we don't need them as well so should have done this before sorry so I'm just going to delete these out because we're going to extrude the hand and attach the arm to the shoulder and the body and similar for the body as well uh, if I can find the body go to the inputs again 8 and 8 8 is the um, optimal optimum number here we don't want to have too much detail so go to a face mode again boom delete these and the same thing if the grid is getting in your way we can go to show grid boom the grid is gone but I'm, in this case I'm going to keep the grid delete these out go to an object and line things up one more time in this video so bring things up okay so bring things inwards a bit I'm going to start off in the side view this time um, just because I prefer this this side view okay so bringing things in as you can see there's a layer down here called body there's nothing in it at the moment I'm going to select the arm and the the leg and I'm going to right click and go on add selected objects and remove these objects from the viewport so now all I can see is the body and uh, the arm and the leg will not get in our way so we're going to start around the chest area and finish at the bottom of this curve okay so a bit more okay just want to make sure it's perfect here so starting at the shoulder finishing at uh, the beginning of the leg really and now we can do the same thing we've been doing before so because we're in the side view this time I'm going to stick to what we've been doing just change the z-axis for now go inwards like so if anything this is a bit too high so I'm just going to bring it down so it doesn't interfere with the neck okay okay bringing these inwards so because we have the breasts here we can't see the curve of the body so we're just going to estimate it for now um, it's relatively easy just make sure there's a nice curve here so just matching this curve scaling outwards a tad scaling outwards okay there's a very obvious curve going on here so the final product will look quite nice 
Okay, so here we go. Now we've come to here, we can see that we've underestimated this by quite by quite a lot. So we can bring this back out. Okay, so there we go. That matches that point there. Bring this out a bit more. Okay, a bit more here. Like so. And if anything, this is a bit too much now. So everything kind of works out in the end. We get a nice curve going on. Now we can carry on with the bottom of the body. Alright, so three more to go. Okay, last one here just to finish this off. Cool. Okay, so this is this the side view for the body. Let's go and see what we've done. Cool, looks not looks okay. We need to um tidy things up in the front view, so we'll do that now before we finish the video. I'm gonna scale inwards like so. So like I said before we we need to delete half of this cylinder, that's what I'm going to do here make sure um, this vertex is right in the center of the body which is about it there okay so with these two vertices bring them up to the shoulder and then just continue across bringing them across okay so bring these in bringing these across like so okay you might want to bring this out like that okay that's cool bring these up a tad okay so let's go to an object mode now and see what we've done and this is the body okay guys I'm just going to like we did before go to an edge mode normal soften edge Cool, now we can add this to the layer if we wanted to. And select objects, view the layer, boom. So just in the first video, we've kind of got an outline for this. In the next video, I'll attach these objects together. So this can be quite tricky if, um, if we haven't got a strategy. And we'll also attach the arm to the body. So thanks for watching the video.